Welcome back to Cypress Academy, PSOC 6101. In this video, I will show you how to take the CapSense implementation we learned about in the previous lesson and add it to our BLE controlled robotic arm project. Let's start by copying the CapSense component from the basic project we just did and pasting it into the main controller schematic. Next, verify the pen settings by clicking on the pens file in the design-wide resources. All the pens should be the same as they were in the basic project. Then, we'll run Generate Application. For the firmware, we first create CapSenseTask.h with the Pragma once and the function prototype for the CapSense task. Next, create CapSense task.c. You will need includes for project.h, pwm task.h, and global.h. It will only have the CapSense task function, which is defined in the same way as all of our other tasks. The slider is going to control the motor position of a given motor. I'll use the buttons to select which motor the slider is changing. So create a variable called current motor to keep track of which motor we're changing. Create a PWM message. This is one of the cool things about the RTOS. You can have multiple independent tasks sending messages to each other. In this case, the CapSense and UART tasks are both sending PWM task messages. Now, the same as before, we'll start the CapSense component and scan the widgets. In the infinite loop, when the CapSense hardware is not busy, we'll process the widgets, then we'll find the position of the linear slider. If the user is touching the slider, we'll build a message that contains the slider position and which motor we're changing and send it to the PWM queue. Then, depending on which button is being touched, we'll change the current motor variable to change which motor we're tracking. Now update the baselines and start the scanning again. Lastly, you need to start the CapSense task back in main underscore CM4. Now build, program, and test. Now as I press button zero, I can run my finger on the slider and change the position of motor one. If I press button one, I can change the position of motor two. <laughs> Excellent. Now we have CapSense working to control the robotic arm on the PSOC 6 BLE Pioneer Kit. In the next set of videos, I'll walk you through how to enable the BLE connectivity to begin controlling the robotic arm remotely. As always, you can post your comments and your questions in our PSOC 6 developers community, or you're welcome to email me at alan underscore hawes at cypress.com or tweet me at AskIOTExpert. Thank you very much.